Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. So, I just watched The Lighthouse, and I've got a lot to say about it. Uh, first of all, I definitely think that this is a very intriguing film. It's a slow burn, with the horror building up over time, uh, which I think works well for the most part in this film. It stars Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe as two lighthouse keepers, who, while on the job, slowly start to lose their sanity. The first thing I'd like to note about this film is its look. It's very dark and dreary, which is definitely enhanced by being shot in black and white. Everything about the setting looks perfectly bleak and depressing. Another thing I need to mention is the music, which is very deep and ominous, and definitely enhances the sense of dread. Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe are very good and committed to their performances, and I especially liked how seafaring Willem Dafoe's accent sounded. I think that a lot of the tension in the movie comes from the relationship between the two main characters. Their relationship changes in a heartbeat. You know, uh, one minute they're chatting and laughing, and then the next minute they're at each other's throats. And I also liked how superstitious Willem Dafoe's character is. He's constantly telling these seafaring tales and trying to impose his beliefs onto Robert Pattinson's character. There are many disturbing images in this film, such as a dead seagull and several with a mermaid that may or may not be there. We also see how grueling the work that Robert Pattinson's character is supposed to do is, which clearly takes a toll on him. Now, like I mentioned before, Pattinson and Defoe give great performances. Before this, I had only seen Pattinson in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and I never watched Twilight. So I wasn't too familiar with his work. Uh, but I think he's perfectly intense in this and expertly shows us a man whose surroundings and day-to-day -day grind take a toll on him. I won't give away the ending, but I will say that it was very eerie and unsettling. Now, I will admit that I had a hard time understanding parts of the movie, and at times its slow pace could be a bit taxing. But all in all, I think that this is a decent and well-made film. Well, I'll wrap it up here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Bye.